And I kid you not, I mean, most of the people are really going to be happy, okay, that you reached out and you called them. And when we talk about, and, and you bring up a good point, well, I have past clients and I have my sphere of influence, right. okay? For past clients, it's, they're both really basically the same script. The Ford, F-O-R-D. Yep. F stands for family, O is occupation, R is recreation, and D is dreams. Mm -hmm. They've been teaching the Ford script since before I was born. Yep. And so it's, but, hey, Daniel, it's Bob at ABC Real Estate. You know, you get through your introduction, right? Well, Daniel, yep. how's the family doing? Right. Has the family adjusted over the last four years to the new neighborhood? Yeah. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. How's your job? See, there's occupation. See, right. most of our listeners today, Daniel, all they need to know is a script, how to say hello. You know, and he will give you the one, the F, how's the family, how's the job. Hey, we're coming up in springtime. You got any vacation plans for the summer? Here's recreation, right? And a dream might be, as somebody said, you, you know, yeah, someday I'm going to have a cabin in the woods as a vacation home. You know, if you have that in your database, in your notes, that's where the dreams you got to keep, a, you know, really in your database because it's almost impossible for most people to remember those things. It, usually, if you can get through, hello, how's the family, how's the job, most of our listeners know where to take the call from there. Right. How do you ask, how do you, I mean, in that scenario, and if they're a sphere of influence or a past client, how do you, how do you do what the whole intention of the call, which is actually just ask them for business. Well, what actually, so to me, I always come in the back door and leave through the front door. Come in the back door, which because I really care about you. So I'm showing care and concern. How are you doing? Yeah. You know, and so you have to have these leading up questions to get the referral. Because if I haven't talked to you, remember, we have our top 25, which are people who are our active referral givers, right? And then we have those people. To me, if you have somebody you haven't talked to in three or four years and you're asking for referrals four years later, I think that's grossly wrong. I mean, you can still do it. However, it's a, this is about relationships, and real estate is, a, is an ear-to-ear, -ear, a belly-to-belly -belly business. It's a contact sport. The more we contact people, the more business we're going to have. And, and so our top, we have, let's just focus on our top 25 that we spoke about uh, that we call on a monthly basis. Okay, of your top 25, what I would also recommend is, you know, why not, you know, your, you might have your top five referral people. How about take them out to lunch or meet them for coffee in the morning before you go in the office? Do that once a month. Okay. I have a client every morning, they go to breakfast or breakfast is from, you know, eight to eight forty-five, And I will say three out of the four days they go to breakfast, they're either inviting a team member, another real estate agent for recruiting or somebody in their top 25. Okay. So they always have somebody that's going to be there with them in breakfast. Generally, they're going to do that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Then they retain Thursday just for them to focus their business for the weekend. So on our top 25, you got to remember, these are people that are giving us referrals on a regular basis. And, and so number one, we always want to remember to thank those people. Okay. Hey, you know, it's hey Daniel, Bob, uh, Bob, I don't even have to say Bob at ABC real estate because I'm talking to you every month. So you become right. my friend. Yeah. You know, and with those top 25, I always recommend put it in as a recurring activity in your database to call them. This way, you're not relying on your memory to do it, and it's popping up on your schedule to call those people so that you don't lose track of those. You know, and this, you know some people might think I'm a little cold-hearted guy, but, but I, my friends have a scheduled call in my database, okay, that I'm calling them, my best friend, I'm calling them once a week. And I put There's them in nothing the wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. The thing is, you know, like I, you know, like I said, a pretty smart guy, Albert Einstein. Why should I remember it if I can write it down? Well, I'm sure if they had computers in his, his days, he would say, "Or I can schedule it in my computer." Okay. Yeah. I mean, come on. You know, we we keep our clients' uh, uh, birthdays in there. You know, we I send out probably 800, 900 birthday cards a year, handwritten by me, by me. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll keep spouses' birthdays, and so. You know, if Daniel, if I had your wife's birthday in my database, what happens? Your wife's birthday pops up. I send her a birthday card. I turn around and shoot you an email. Daniel, don't forget your wife's birthday is coming up in a week. So we do that with our clients. I, and I have people say, man, I would have forgotten completely. See, life gets in the way of us remembering some of the important things in life. So in our top 25 past clients in Sphere, really in those top 25, Daniel, you can really meld them together as one group because they really become a close-knit group of friends.